Hey guys, today is going to be a colorful summer liner look. It's based on a greenish liquid liner. So if you want to see how I achieve this look, then just keep watching. First, we're going to start off with Benefit's Professional Pearl Primer. And I'm just going to get... Oh, I actually cut it in half because that's a little trick I have. When I'm down to like the last bit of whatever the item is, I always cut the tube if it's able to be cut and I'll get like the last bit with the q-tip as you see here that I'm going in with the q-tip so that's a little trick of mine and here I'm just putting the primer pretty much like in my forehead, my nose, my chin and my cheeks for foundation I'm gonna be using the Marc Jacobs Genius Gel Supercharged foundation in the color 14, which is ivory medium. This foundation, I find that it's more of like a true medium coverage, but it's definitely buildable for like a, I would say, medium to full coverage. Um, definitely not a complete co full coverage uh, foundation, but I do like the coverage that it gave me. Um, I don't know if it will cover all blemishes, but it covered mine pretty well, so I liked it, and it held up pretty well throughout the day as well. I don't know what's up with that side neck thing that I did right there. So here I'm just blending it all out and I'm using an IT Cosmetics flat foundation brush and here apparently you see me opening my drink and next I'm going to use the Urban Decay eyeshadow uh, primer potion to set on my eyelids before I start with the eyeshadow. And for concealer, I'm going to use the Benefit Boing Concealer in the color 01. And I'm just grabbing a Real Techniques, I think it's like a setting brush. I think that's what it's called. I use it for my concealer. And here I'm blending it out with my Beauty Blender, the black one. And I just put the concealer under my eyes because I did look a bit tired. And to set that, I'm going to use the Airspun Loose Face Powder in the color Honey Beige. And I'm going to set that under my eyes, also in like the wrinkles that I have in my forehead so that the foundation doesn't really sink into them. Also um, in my smile lines because I do got me some smile lines, girl. So I got to set them bad boys with the loose powder as well and for eyeshadow I'm gonna use the Too Faced natural matte palette once again I'm hooked on it it's just really easy to do like any kind of look um, here I am using not sure the color the shade that's um, in the palette that I use I'll put it down in the description bar in the info of all the products that I'm using um, but I am using one of the brown ones in that palette for my crease and here you just see me going back and forward and to the crease not too precise just pretty much a little bit sloppy and then for my brow bone I'm gonna use the shade Day and pretty self-explanatory adding that on the brow bone And then for my lid, I'm going to use the shade Classic. And I'm just going to put that all over my lid before I go in with the beautiful, gorgeous glitter that I'm going to be using for this look. And 
And then here I'm just going back in with that same brush that I used for the crease to blend it out. And here I'm just showing you the little NYX bag that I bought. Alright guys, now I'm going in with the NYX Glitter Primer. Oh my god, I just noticed that I misspelled glitter. I know how to spell it. It's G-L-I-T-T-E-R, honey. My bad. I didn't realize that. So I'm just getting that um, glitter primer and setting it like mainly on the eyelid where I'm going to add the glitter in a moment. And I'm just showing you the type of brush. You can use any type of brush as long as it's kind of like flat. And um, this is the NYX Metallic Glitter in Lumilite from the little mini haul that I just showed you. Guys, this glitter is probably my favorite that I've ever used. Like, mo for sure top three. Look at how gorgeous that is. You guys are going to see, like, it really reflects, like, such a beautiful, shiny, glittery look. Look at that. Ugh. Oh my god, it's so pretty! I love it! Alright, um, here I'm just dusting off that loose powder. And then all over my face, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the color Light Medium 20. And I'm just dabbing some out on the lid of that powder and then getting um, a powder brush. And for the liner, I'm going to use the NYX Vivid Brights Liquid Liner in the color Vivid Envy beautiful color guys I'm in love with this color I think it's perfect for summer and here I'm just shaking it up I just kind of pulled back just a tiny bit not too much on my skin next to uh, my eye so I can get like a perfect well an as perfect as I can get with the um, wing on the outside and here I'm just using the Tarte eyelash curler and for mascara I'm using the Revlon lash potion mascara in the color black you guys this is probably a pretty old mascara but I had a new one and I opened it and I totally forgot how fucking amazing this mascara is. If it's still out there in the drugstores, I suggest you guys pick it up. It gives you everything. It gives you length and volume. Here I'm just putting some Wet n Wild Mega Wear Mascara on my lower lashes. The wand is really tiny so I love it for the bottom lashes. And before that, I actually added some um, some of the browns that I used in the Natural Matte Too Faced palette under um, my lower lash line and just uh, smudged it out. For my bronzer and actually everything, my bronzer, blush, and highlight, I'm using the... Oh, okay, I had something in my eye right there, girl. But back to the palette, I'm using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer Palette. And first, I'm going to do the contouring and the um, I'm using the bronzing color in there, which is the color bronze. And here, I'm just contouring my nose, under my lip, uh, cheekbones, and then I'll be bronzing my forehead, pretty much all around my head. And then of course I'll get like in the chin area. And then here I'm going to be using the dark brown shade in that Too Faced Natural Matte palette just to kind of fill in my brows. But first I uh, brush them out and then I do use the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in the color Brunette. And I put some of that first to fill my brows in because I do have pretty thick um, brows but I actually kind of just overdid it this last time when I was plucking so that's why I'm filling them in with some of that brown powder um, eyeshadow actually I don't go too much into filling my eyebrows but I had to do it this time like I said I over I did it way overboard last time I was plucking my brows 
And here I'm just dabbing that powder brush. Nothing extra, just whatever was left over and dabbing it over my brows. And then um, for my blush, I'm using that blush color and the Butter Bronzer uh, Physicians Formula Palette. I'm just dabbing a small MAC blush brush. And then for highlight, I used the both that are in that um, the same palette, the Physicians Formula. Sorry, Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Sorry guys, I can't talk. It's late as fuck, okay? It's 1.17 in the morning. But I'm feeling it. I put it on my cheeks, my cupid's bow, and my the tip of my nose. And then moving on to lipstick, I'm using the Too Faced Peach Kiss Lipsticks in the color Sure Thing. I had bought two of them. As you saw there, I just didn't know which one I was going to use, but I went with um, Sure Thing. And you guys, I love the packaging. It is adorable. I know I'm so late on these lipsticks but I just got them and I fucking love them I mean everything Too Faced they did it the packaging is amazing um, the color is amazing the smell is perfect it's not like a strong ass scent where it like over where like they how can I describe it like where it gives you the headache it's nothing like that it's just the perfect scented peach lipstick and I love it I can't get over the packaging I mean, look at that. It has peaches on the actual lipstick. That is just too damn cute. It is a little drying. It's a matte lipstick. Um, it is a little drying where it doesn't feel dry on your lips. It actually feels really moisturizing, but it looks dry. And I don't know if I like that, but I love everything else about it that I'm still gonna wear it I'll just probably probably add like a lip gloss or something I don't know I'll try it with a lip liner next time because here I'm just using the lipstick on its own I love the color I love that it feels moisturizing it just looks a little dry and you'll see me looking in the camera and like I really wasn't feeling how dry it looked uh, anyway, to set my makeup, I'm going to use the Glam Glow Glow Setter Makeup Setting Spray. And girl, I'm almost hitting half on that damn bottle. I'm going to have to go get another one because that's another thing that smells so bomb. I had to put this in slow motion because I was trying to capture the glitter. I mean, you guys, this shit is just beautiful. I love it. And that's pretty much the look, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys loved it. Go pick up some of these items if you like them. Tag me in your pictures. Bye.